Hey, what's up everyone? It's Franchise923, and in this quick video, I just wanted to share um, this cool open source tool that I recently found on GitHub. Um, so Philip BL has posted this duplicate image finder tool, and I downloaded it and got it running and thought it was really useful, so I wanted to share um, how I got it running on my Mac. Um, so basically, this is what it allows you to do. You can give it a, a directory of images, and it's going to uh, traverse through any other directories you have, in that folder and detect duplicate imagery. Um, and the way it does this is it generates a hash for every uh, individual image and basically stores that hash value in a MongoDB database. And then if it detects that there's any, um, you know, hashes that are identical, it, it'll flag it as a duplicate just like this. Um, so if that sounds interesting, just keep watching and I'm gonna show you uh, the process of basically downloading this and installing it and running it. Uh, it's pretty simple. We're just going to need Python 3 and MongoDB installed on our Mac. And um, yeah, I'm just going to quickly go through this. And um, just wanted to give a shout out to this person. Uh, I like the tool and uh, thanks for putting it on GitHub. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is just download this code from GitHub. So just, I'm going to click on code and then download as a zip. And it should download right to our downloads folder. So let's go take a look at that. And I'm just going to double click it to unzip it. And let's head in here and you can see we have some files so we have a duplicate finder Python file so that's the code that's actually going to do the work um, but I I just want to view this in Visual Studio Code just so it's a little um, nicer to look at so I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code and open this directory which is in my downloads folder and you can see here we have it's giving us a requirements file when I actually ran this with these requirements, I ran into some dependency issues, and I think it's because some of these versions are old and haven't been updated in a while. Um, so what I did was I installed these one by one, um, just letting uh, pip install whatever version it wanted, and I came up with um, these dependencies instead. So I'm just going to paste these dependencies in, and I'll paste this in um, in the chat, or in, in, not in the chat, but in a, a YouTube in the comments or I'll, I'll, maybe I'll put this on GitHub. Um, but definitely I'll have a way for you all to get this. So I just have these new requirements in here and let's go and take a look at what we need to do next. So I'm actually gonna create a new virtual environment um, inside this directory, a new Python virtual environment. Um, so we can install these dependencies separate uh, from any other interpreters we have. So let me, um, Let's cd to the downloads, cd downloads, cd duplicate image master. All right, so now in the terminal, we're in the same directory as here, and we are going to say Python 3. So if you don't have Python 3 installed, just go ahead and install Python 3. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna go through that process, um, but I'm gonna exit this real fast, and let's do Python 3-m venv, and let's call this uh, duplicate image venv. And this is going to create a brand new virtual environment called duplicate image virtual environment. And it should show up right here. Here's the new duplicate image environment. And next, let's clear this. Next, we need to activate this environment. So I'm going to cd into uh, duplicate image env and cd into bin and type source activate and this will make it active so you can see here duplicate image v, uh, venv is now active that basically means uh, anytime we call python from the shell like this it's going to use this python it's not going to use any other version of python that we might have on our path so that's cool so now that we have a new python we need to install these de uh, dependencies so with that, we should be able to say pip install um, dash r for requirements. And now just give it the requirements dot text re requirements. I don't know why it's not auto populating there. Whoops. Oh, in the wrong directory. I'm still in the bin directory. So I need to go up two directories. All right, and now let's go 
pip install dash r requirements dot text. And with any luck, these should install without any problems. Okay, looks like they all installed. That was pretty quick. So now we should be able to say Python duplicate image finder or du duplicate finder.py. So let's just try this and see what happens when we run it. Okay, so it's giving us um, some basically some uh, information about how to run this tool. So that's great. So the first thing we need to actually do is add images to our database. So if we try to do that by saying Python duplicate finder add, then what we could do is give it a path to somewhere where we have pictures. So I have a bunch of pictures in here. So I'm just going to um, copy this as path and paste this in here and hit enter. And you see we're getting an error and this is because we haven't installed MongoDB yet. So what it's trying to do is actually install Mo or run MongoDB and create a new database in this directory. So you see it made this DB folder. And if we look at the code real fast, we can see basically what it's trying to run right here. It's trying to run MongoD. And if we type MongoD, uh, the shell doesn't know what that is because we don't have it installed. So let's go figure out how we can install MongoD on Mac. It's basically like two commands. And if we look here, no, we don't need this. All right, so first we need to basically tap this, which means, you know, add more the packages. So I should already have this tapped. So it should say there's nothing really to do. And this is what's actually going to install it. So let's try that. Okay, looks like it already installed it. Uh, I think it went a little bit quicker than it normally would because I, I've installed this in the past. So there were probably some things that I didn't need to install because I had it some dependencies installed. So yours might take a little bit longer. Um, yeah, so now let's try the same thing we were running before where we add these images. So Python duplicate finder, add, and then add the directory. So let's try this again. And what, what this is doing, it's starting a database and it's hashing this directory. So there you go, it's hashing every single image and inserting the hash value into that MongoDB database and then just stopping the database. So now if we wanna actually see the results, see what duplicate images there are, we can, instead of saying add, we just wanna say, find and this is going to find any duplicates so there we go so now we have duplicate duplicates and say we wanted to delete one of them we can just go ahead and click delete and i'm going to delete one that's in this dupes folder so if i go back here beer picks dupes i have four in here that are duplicates so i'm going to delete this 417 if i hit delete we should see it disappear from here. And now what, what this program does by default, it doesn't actually send it to the trash or delete it permanently. What it does is it puts it in a trash folder right here. So within your project, let me collapse this. Inside your project, it creates this trash folder right there and puts it there. That's just, just to prevent anything uh, from permanently getting deleted. Um, but if you, you know, once you review that you actually do want to delete this, you know, just go ahead and throw it away. Um, let me go back to downloads. And we can just trash it. And there is a way to configure that, I'm sure. Uh, you know, it might be in the documentation. 
but yeah, he, he very clearly says, um, you know, it's, this isn't perfect use at your own risk. So I'll just relay that, um, you know, just use at your own risk. Um, and yeah, I've uh, found that it, <clears throat> it, um, detects, you know, the majority of duplicates. Um, uh, and that's, that's enough for me. It's a huge, huge help. Uh, so yeah, let me see if there was anything about how to, yeah, yeah. So if you just wanted to change the trash path, you would just say dash dash trash equals and then give it some other path. But by default, it's just um, this trash folder right there. All right, so I think that's all I wanted to sh uh, share with you guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any trouble installing any of this on the on your Mac, let me know, or, or on Ubuntu or, or any other Linux. I did try to install this on Windows because um, I thought that would be helpful as well, but I, I ran into a bunch of um, library issues and uh, didn't feel like spending any more time on it. So, um, yeah, if this was helpful, uh, just let me know. Thanks.